I wrote an article some years back called Asleep at the Switch, that we in the public health community have been asleep at the switch from predominantly infectious to predominantly non-infectious causes of death. We need to continue to stop the infectious disease threats and do a much better job against AIDS, TB, malaria, antimicrobial resistance, influenza, the threat of pandemics, but we also have to face today's leading killers. One of the problems has been that there hasn't been enough of a sense that these are winnable battles. Some people see it, oh, it's a chronic disease. There's nothing we can do about it. That's one reason I'm so excited about the WHO Replace Package, which aims to make the world trans fat free by 2023. This will be a win for global health, for public health, and most importantly, for the 17 million people who won't die from heart attacks caused by artificial trans fats in the 25 years after the world is successful eliminating them. WHO has now established a package, an action package that shows the way to eliminate artificial trans fat. Uh, Dr. Tedros has made it a flagship project of the World Health Organization. It's in the global program of work that was just approved yesterday, trans fat free by 2023. It's the first ever elimination project in the non-communicable disease, cardiovascular disease space. To get progress, we're going to need governments to take action, civil society to push, and rigorous monitoring to make sure that we are making progress. Unfortunately today, most of the countries that have implemented trans fat bans are rich countries. And that means we're exacerbating inequalities around the world. No person anywhere in the world should consume an artificial product that's going to increase the risk of a heart attack. And it's particularly problematic because people don't know. They haven't asked for these. They're not aware that it's in their food through no fault of theirs. It's the responsibility of governments and industry to get this toxic chemical out of our food.